friends i'm akash pande today i'm going to tell you how to design a foundation in stat pro it's stat pro series 6 vti for foundation design suppose i want to make one sample of any building structure for that just go to new project just click on new project click on space and then mks always remember it's mks meter kilo newton and then okay next and when you click here and just click finish it just you st uh, your uh, your uh, and just click on geometry and you can see here uh, the option is there run structure wizard when you click on run structure wizard you can see you have a uh, many type of structure is there uh, i'm one i want to go or to make one uh, building structure for that just click on here and uh, model type you can just click on frame model when you click on frame model you can see wave frame is there grid frame is there i am going to uh, design the wave frame in next video i am discussed uh, briefly i will discuss about wave frame grid frame floor frame but today i am going to tell you wave frame just click on wave frame suppose i want my building's length is 9 then you can just click here 9 and i want my number of way along the length is 3 okay and uh, i want my height not 15 i want just 12 and then your number of way along the height is i want only four and width also i want to decrease it's just three and it's just sorry it's just nine and it's it just three okay and after it just click on apply when you click on apply your building is complete here right just go to edit and then add paste model and just click on s and you can see if you want to uh, like uh, you can see this one is zero 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 you want to put your building here so for that just click here on x y z zero 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 and okay you have a building you want to close your grid for that just click on snap mode when you click here on snap mode your building is only your building is here your building uh, details is here i want to go to like uh, define your beams and column size suppose my column size is just click on define and my column size is rectangular i have a rectangular circular which type of columns you have you can define this one i am going to uh, like define a rectangular and the size is 4.5 it just 450 mm and then just click on add okay this one is your uh, column size i want to go to define our beam size it's 0.30 and 0.45 okay and after it just click on add and close this one is your column so just click on select and then click here on beams parallel to it's your y axis so click on x y axis your every column is select here you can just assign from here and yes after it just click on rectangular it's your beam so for beam just go to select and then beams parallel to it's your x axis and it's your z axis you can select both and then assign your axis you can see if you want to see this one just click on here i like select everyone and then 3d render view you can see your building is this one okay after it just click on support here this one is your building so maximum possibilities of fixed support so just click on edit and sorry <coughs> sorry just click on create and uh, you can just click on fix support this one you fix this one is your pin this one is your fix but and this one is your indoors i'm going to fix support just click on uh, fix support and this one is your fix support you want to put on everyone for that you can just click on view from z axis when you click here your view is just like that and then select everyone when you select everyone and assign this one you can see this one is put here right every uh, like uh, every your uh, support is clear here i want to go for load just click on load and click on load cache details and click here suppose your dead load is here so you can give your dead load name dead load dl and that's this one is your live load for that just click on ll and close just click on dead load and define your <coughs> define your dead load just click on uh, my cell rate is minus 1.5 add this one and then click on flow load and you can provide your flow load is 6 kN. it's important for range how much range you want for that 
so you know well from here to here distance is this one is your 3 this one is your 9 okay for that you can check it out you can click on node cursor and then click here you can see your y distance is this one and uh, you can just click here and then you can see this one is your 12 that means your minimum is 3 and maximum is maximum is 12 so you can just put down this one and this one sorry yeah this one is your 12 and you can add this after it just close this one and then click on live load and you can also provide your live load flow load just click on flow load your live load is minus 4 kilo newton and then range 3 to not your you can see your flow lead flow load is only coming here not in not in roof it's only on floor so your floor height is you can check it out this one is 9 so your floor in live load it's only 9 okay in dead load it's 12 but in live load always remember it's 3 it's 9 why because your flow load is your pro your provide on your roof and uh, in your live load it's only provide on your floors so you can add this one and then close select select everyone it's uh, like wrong so click on select beams and then assign to view and assign your everyone and then just this one and this one understand after it just click on analysis and then add and close you can analyze your building it just finish for foundation design so for foundation this one is your normal steps after it for foundation you can do some steps after analyze you can just click on foundation design you can see the foundation design is here just click on foundation design and then you can see all level load cases is here two load cases is here just click on first one and then second one and include this one include your dead load and live load after it just click on run stat foundation run stat foundation when you click here your stat foundation browser is open here just wait few minutes in stat you know uh, four types of foundation you can design your first one is your pile foundation second one is your isolated foundation and third one is your combined and fourth one is your mat foundation four types of foundation you can design in easily in your stat pro i want to go for isolate uh, like uh, this one is your for isolate footing after its in next video we will discuss about uh, pile foundation and then mat and then combined footing okay this one is for pile foundation just you can see your every column placing is here every columns placing is here just go to load and factor where just click on load and factor you can go and project info and you can see your info about your project but i want to go and just click on load and factor when you click on load and factor after it you can just click on generate load combination Gen just click on generate load combination after it just click on indian and update that update your table and generate load combinations after it okay and generate load combination these both are this one is your ultimate load combination this one is your service load combination you can provide both after it just close this one and uh, just click on job setup just click on job setup and click on create new job you can see your da uh, data input panel is here you can enter which type of foundation you want to design I want to go for isolated footing okay just put down your footing name uh, that means job name and next one you can see here you can design your four types of foundation I want to go for isolate after it just click here and then click Indian and just click here and click your SI okay you can see uh, your generate load is there these are some generate load combination designed by generate load combination this one these are this one just select everyone after it just select this one okay and then click on create job when you create click on create job you can see your isolated footing job is here 
you can just put here and uh, you can see your con concrete like uh, you can see elevation also your unit width of concrete is 25 and uh, like your bar spacings and every details are there real distance of a steel is this one after it you want to change if uh, any soil condition you can change from here and uh, like when you satisfy with this all just click on design and then as you can see your isolated footing is designed here yeah the here you can see design for isolate footing one for two for three for everyone it's separate design here okay when you just click here you can see this one is your elevation and you can see columns uh, you know well this one is your clear covers and footings and uh, you can see your all reports here footing geometry design type calculation and all like uh, like your what is footing entry and your what is your eccentricity and your column dimensions your column dimension you know well what is your common uh, column dimensions and you can see the some concrete and rebar uh, like properties maximum bar spacing and minimum bar spacing is this one after it you can see soil properties and then sliding over turnings and after it you can see one by one 101 load combination is this one 102 load combination is this one this type you can calculate your footing size is this one after it you can see the pressure of four corners here what is your pressure what is here what is here and what is here you can see with the help of this one this table and uh, this type you can calculate easily your foundation easily and uh, you can see your whole designs so you can do that and after read this all you can see shear forces here shear stress is there ks is there shear strength is also calculate it's uh, very easily with the help of some formula instead all, all calculate already calculated here and you can see like uh, ld is here ldv is here every value can calculate here after it you can see your geometry is this one this one is your detail and schedule you can easily got your detail and schedule you can see like you can cover this one is your size what is your this size okay you can see these all what is your this size what is your this size everything you can got from here you can just save this one and open in your AutoCAD file easily you can read there and just click on save and you can got in your AutoCAD okay and uh, after it if you click on your like if you want to see your detail of drawings just click here and you can got your details 6 mm is this one this one is your elevation this one is your cover okay everything you can see here this one is your size of columns okay you can uh, save this one also after it just click on GA drawings you can see this one is your GA drawings this one first second third and everyone you can also save this one easily just click on save drawing as and save your drawings it's open in DWG format okay again if you want to see your calculation sheet just click on calculation sheets and uh, you can go in uppers and you can see your next isolated footing is this one okay hope you understand how to design your foundation in stat pro give me support if you like this video please subscribe my channel and